What's up guys, Zergriz here, and today is all about Call of Duty Cold War. My opinion on it, what I think about the sniping, and just everything in general. Before you even ask, no, this is not me. I did not get invited to play the Alpha, Beta, or whatever, just like Pomage. I did not get invited, unfortunately. Um, would have said yes, honestly, if they asked me. This is a guy called Skyroys, I think. Um, he's a... Uh, he doesn't speak English, so that's why I'm not playing any audio in the background. But the reason I'm using his gameplay is because it's by far the best quality. Um, he's not really a big sniper, I don't think. I mean, he's pretty good at this game, it seems, but he's not like FaZe Testy. And I was going to use Testy's uh, video in the background, but, you know, he's just it's just so pixelated. i just rather use something that's high quality, so that's why I'm using his. So, link to his video in the description. But today's just going to be about my personal opinion on how the game looks and uh, I don't really know if anyone gives a shit on my opinion I mean I probably wouldn't if uh, some random dude get a, gave his opinion on a video but I thought I'd just share my opinion because uh, I feel like I haven't made a video in a while it's been a little bit and this came out so I thought it was a good topic to talk on so yeah you gotta listen to my boring voice in this video but you can enjoy the gameplay in the background um, just starting off from a non-sniping perspective I think the game looks pretty good they definitely took a big step back they wanted to get the roots of Call of Duty the arcade feel um, which is just a whole lot different um, in compared to Modern Warfare the current Call of Duty game there's no doors there's no uh, you know the realistic aspect is not there in this game it's it's it feel it looks a lot like uh, um, an older type of game like the first person shooter arcade gunny game and Modern Warfare really you know try to touch on that realism aspect with the sounds the quality this game looks good but it doesn't look as you know uh, realistic and the graphics don't really look as great as Modern Warfare but this is just the beta I'm not gonna you know shit on the graphics or anything um, it, it just in general looks like a uh, more old school style black ops kind of game um, kind of that runny gunny uh, you know shooter situation but as far as the game looks <laughs> I don't really think it looks like Call of Duty I'm gonna be honest it looks more like Battlefield Hardline or Warface um, you know, that one sand map looks like Star Wars Battlefront. I really, I just don't know about the game. And it doesn't look like a Call of Duty game to me. And I'm not saying it looks bad. I'm just saying it doesn't really look like a normal COD like we've seen in the past. So, um, I, I definitely think, you know, Call of Duty has changed over the years. But, uh, overall, I think the game looks and it looks really smooth. I think it should be fun, um, in terms of just people wanting to play it. I don't know how they're going to integrate Battle Royale or Warzone or whatever. I don't know how that's going to work because they're on two separate, you know, platforms or two separate engines, uh, I should say. Um, this game is on a different engine than Modern Warfare. So we're all going to wait and see on how that pans out. But overall, the game looks pretty fun. It looks like, you know, classic arcade shooter. Um, and, you know, I guess I'll just dive into what the sniping looks like. I mean, I've been playing the sniping gameplay in the background. Sniping's definitely a thing, man. Sniping is, I'm going to say it's back because, uh, you know, a lot of people did not like Modern Warfare sniping for good reason. Like, they try to do the realism aspect. The snipers are not fast-paced. It's not the arcade, the arcade shooter like uh, we all have known to love and gotten used to with the old Modern Warfares and, you know, the old Black Ops games. So it definitely looks faster and better and uh, here's the, another video on uh, the uh, the sand map on this game overall the, out of the two that I just watched I think this sand map looks more fun than the boats and just in my opinion I don't know um, I think overall in the beta that we've seen so far the, the snow map looks amazing we haven't had a snow map in a while modern warfare doesn't even have a snow map so I don't know. Um, you can definitely tell this was on. This is made on the Black Ops 3 engine. This game really does look and play. Uh, look like it looked like it plays on Black Ops 3 engine. I mean, just everything, the mechanics, just the movement. I never even played Black Ops 3, but I could just tell from looking at it. I've seen enough Black Ops 3 videos to know that it looks like that game. Um, which doesn't mean a bad thing, you know, Black Ops 3 might not have been my cup of tea, I didn't really like it that much, but I think, you know, I think this game can uh, actually pan out to be a pretty 
pretty good game. Um, I'm not getting my hopes up very much. Um, I do think this game looks awesome, and I think I'm going to have a lot of fun, but I'm not going to get my hopes up too much. And that's just because we've learned from the past, you know, not to get your hopes up about Call of Duty. Ever since Advanced Warfare, you know, going forward, I did get my hopes up a lot about World War II. I just didn't really like it, you know. I liked the beta a little bit, but it just, everything changed in that game. I just didn't get around to it. And I know in terms of the sniping community, you know, once a game is not the newest game, like World War II, for example, once, you know, World War II wasn't the newest game, that's when everyone started playing it. That's when everyone jumped on the wagon. World War II is awesome. Um, I'm actually, I'm, I'm willing to bet once this game comes out, Cold War, some snipers who hate Modern Warfare might even jump on Modern Warfare. Like, it's just it's just that weird thing. Uh, the sniping community doesn't really love the newer Call of Duty games in terms of the montage scene. But I think this game might change that. I really do. And I used to be I used to be in that ship. I used to be in that boat. Hated all the new CODs. I mean, I still hate, you know, Advanced Warfare all the way through Black Ops 4. I hate all those, you know, futuristic games. Um... I just, I've never played them. I don't want to play them. Just They just don't look and pertain to me. But I kept my eyes open and uh, I just was, you know, pretty positive when it came to Modern Warfare. Now, I hate watching sniping montages of Modern Warfare, like the general population. No one likes to watch sniping montages. But in terms of the game, the game's fun. The game's good. People just hate it because they don't like to watch montages on it, but the game itself is good. And uh, I've learned to love that game. I've played it a lot. I've streamed it a lot. Uh, I've just learned to love that game over the past couple months. And it really gets me excited for this one because I'm going to keep my eyes open. I'm going to be, you know, kind of stay positive on it. I'm going to play it a bunch. I hope I don't get burnt out on it, but that's always a possibility. But I'm, I'm going to try. I'm, I'm setting a goal to play this game for the entirety of its, you know, one year span or whatever, whether it's multiplayer, whether it's battle royale zombies, I'm going to try to make videos and play this for, you know, the, the coming future. And I'll still do old videos, you know, I'll still play old gen here and there, I'm sure, if it's still alive, you know, it, it seems like it's never going to die at this point, geez. Um, we were talking about old gen dying, you know, back in, you know, 2015, so... I don't know, but uh, I definitely keep my eyes open. This game looks fun. This guy's using the R7 with an ACOG. I think they're definitely going to bring some cool old guns back. I mean, we already saw the L96, the R7. Uh, it's it's the Vietnam Cold War era, so there's you know there's some guns. Um, PSG1 was actually never actually like you know issued or anything, uh, but that was a gun used in Black Ops One. It was kind of like a prototype gun. Um, along with the G11, which was a assault rifle, that three-burst one that was really weird, that you had to reload the barrel. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I'm kind of a gun nut, so I, I hope to see some cool guns into uh, brought into this game. I don't know what they would bring in, sniper-wise, but uh, I could definitely see them doing the M40, even though it wasn't really relevant at the time, but I could definitely see them doing a lot. I'm really looking forward to the game. I think it's going to be fun. I just submitted a time request sheet for my job where I'm trying to take off um, the four days that the beta is out. I know, how nerdy am I? Uh, I'm trying to take off the four days the beta comes out so I can actually play the beta. So I'm really looking forward to that. <sighs> Sorry, I had to get a drink of water. Um, really looking forward to the beta, man. I'm going to be playing it nonstop, probably streaming a bunch. I think it's going to be good. I think it's going to be good. Um, just from just watching the alpha gameplay alone like this, I think the game looks really fun. I could definitely see myself playing it for the long run. I just hope that other people have that mindset and they're not just shitting on it just because of, you know, oh, this this doesn't, you know, they don't have doors or, I don't know. I don't know. People are so negative nowadays, you know, not even just with Call of Duty, but just in general. So, who knows? I think the game definitely, I mean, holy shit. <laughs> Uh, I should have watched the full gameplay beforehand. I did not know you can get Iron Sight. Wow, this is new for me. Uh, yeah, I definitely think it looks like it's going to be a fun arcadey pick up and play shooter. And I don't see too many downsides. Um, probably the biggest cons right now I can think of would be skill based matchmaking. Um, God, I mean, I really don't know. I really don't know much cons. I don't know too much about the game to really dive into it. I think it looks fun, 
definitely going to play it. You know, I hate repeating myself, but yeah. Uh, the perk system, man, they really went back to Black Ops, the original Black Ops. They got ha Hacker, they got Ninja. Um, what was the other one? Dead S they had Ninja, Hacker, Scavenger, Heart. I think it's Flak Jacket. That's the one I'm talking about. Tac Mask Pro. They have a lot of the original Black Ops 1 uh the original Black Ops 1 perks, so I'm really looking forward to this game in, in terms of just reliving that Black Ops nostalgia. I don't like the health bar above people's heads. I just think that looks stupid. They had it in, like, Black Ops 3 or whatever. I just think it looks stupid. I wish they would just take that out, but it, I know you can toggle it to turn it off, but I just, you know, it's I just think it looks dumb. They should just get rid of it in general. But mini-map's back. Everything's, everything looks back to normal. I don't know. I think it looks good, so I'm not going to repeat myself anymore. Um, this is kind of my second ever like commentary type video. I plan I plan to do another. Um, if you guys haven't noticed, I haven't been uploading for like a week now, uh, just because I, you know, haven't been feeling it too much. But I think I'm gonna get back on track with things. Uh, I just got a lot of stuff going on in real life, in my life right now. So that's why I haven't been too much, too busy. Uh, but I don't know. This game looks kind of, kind of ju I'm not gonna say cartoony, but it doesn't look like a realistic game like Modern Warfare, you know? You know, Black Ops 1 was not a realistic game. Black Ops 2 was cool and fun, but it probably wasn't very realistic. Modern Warfare, that's what they push, you know, the realism. You know, everything looks super high def, real, and stuff like that. And I still think the Modern Warfare looks better, but I think this game might be more fun for the masses just because it's like one of those arcade shooters, like I said before. So I'm going to stop repeating myself. Um, if you guys want to see more commentary videos on topics, uh, just leave a like. If I get 110 likes, I'll know that you know these videos are well liked and uh, makes me want to do more. Because honestly, I don't know. I don't know about commentary videos. I don't think I have a good commentary type voice. I hate listening to myself. So we'll see once I go edit this video. We'll see. Um, yeah, guys, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, I will see you guys later. Deuces.